integrity, solidarity, worldview, and prosperity for everyone. Thank you very much, sir. The Constitutional Review assignment that they perform only seven new ministers. Again, I congratulate the seven newly sworn in ministers. Congratulate you and thank you on behalf of this country for accepting to serve your nation. The moment is challenging. The present situation called for a very serious commitment. Yours is a duty to serve, and that's what you've come to do. I really appreciate the fact that you've taken the oath of office and ready to serve your nation at the time we are facing the challenges of economic growth and other items like the security challenges and all. It is not easy to find just the unique people that we surrender their life, freedom, and other responsibility to serve their nation at the time of these challenges. I am sincerely happy that you've done that and you are here today to be part of a very committed team of Nigerians who had been working tirelessly since 17 months ago that we assumed the responsibility of governing this country. We face the challenges of growth and danger of doing nothing. We are faced with a nation that is on the edge of bankruptcy. That's the truth. And you are called upon to join the team to rescue this country. Service is the hallmark of this human endeavor. You have been called upon to serve. Since 17 months, I thank many of the ministers that are present here today for hard work that they fell back upon tirelessly to put Nigeria on this recovery path. Economic recovery is on the horizon.
we have a good path to realize our dreams. And it's not just only for us, it's for our children and grandchildren to call. Despite the challenges, we face the job of re-engineering and retooling the economic of part of this country. Yes, cost of living has gone up. I recognize that. And we've satisfied to meet the obligations of paying a new minimum wage across the board. For us, it was a challenge when a nation was serving, servicing its debt with 97% of its <coughs> revenue. It's nothing but end of the cliff. But today I can report, report to you that we brought that one down and it's at 65 percent. We have never defaulted in paying our obligations. We meet all obligations both foreign and domestic. We have our head above the water. All other countries too around us and across the world are facing challenges. If I just a lot of Christ in Europe and America what pandemic has brought to the economics of the world, to the economies of the world. But we are navigating through this and we are working hard. You'll be part of people who receive criticism and abuse. Don't worry. <laughs> Stay focused. Stay resilient. Your thank will come with the history of growth and prosperity for this country. <clears throat> it is my joy and honor to be part of you to be responsible for over 250 million people in this country. We have taken the bull by the horn. We stopped the scavengers. We are going to stop completely the profiteers and smugglers of our resources across the country. We are not going to run away from our responsibility. We are going to face it, and we've been facing it headlong. With you as a member of this team, I will be proud, and I am proud and honored that I'm leading you, and we will lead you to success and prosperity. All I can say is welcome. Welcome aboard. This ship 
will not sink. God bless you and God bless Nigeria.